Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag with my new to me vintage Chanel square mini and I'm super excited that I have this bag in my collection. I love it so much and every time that I get really excited about a handbag purchase, I usually always do a what's in my bag. They are my favorite videos to watch favorite videos to film and yeah and it's just a nice way if you are interested in the bag that I'm talking about or using you know it's a nice way to see what fits and all of that so I definitely have been loving the bag if you aren't following my Instagram then you definitely should check it out you could totally tell that I'm obsessed with it I've been posting it recently pretty much every single day I wear it with everything it matches everything even though it's a bold color it's just great and also if you happen to be new here welcome my name is Lisa everyone calls me Elle for short I would love if you'd like to join my YouTube fam so definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to and you'll be notified every time that I upload a video so I just got done filming the Nordstrom anniversary sale haul and I was trying on this flannel top from BP to share with you guys what it you know how it fits you know the little, little try on portion and I ended up just staying in this this was the last thing I tried on I love it so much it's so cute it's so comfy it's lightweight and I feel like it's light enough weight to wear it even now with my sleeves rolled up with some ripped up shorts or you know with the little denim skirt and it just obviously is going to match my bag today and it is the vintage Chanel square mini that I'm going to be doing my what's in my bag with. I love this bag so much. I sort of talked about in my reveal video if you haven't watched it you know why I ended up going for the vintage over the newer square so I'll go into that again a little bit not too much after I do the what's in my bag. Obviously it's a very little bag so this isn't going to be a very long video but I do want to share it with you guys it's just so so cute. So lately I've just been sticking my phone in the back pocket like this I don't care about the whole stretching out thing I could care less I don't know though because this is a six I don't know if a plus looks funny coming out of a mini like this I'm sure it's like a lot I don't know how big that phone is but I'm sure it's a lot bigger than this and to be honest with you I am planning on getting the 8 plus whenever that comes out and I don't know what it's gonna look like how big it's gonna be and I do know this phone fits in here perfectly now just so you guys can see it's sort of a as a reference. I think the plus fits in here, but I don't have one to share with you guys, but I usually do always keep my phone in whatever back pocket my bag has like this. And for the most part, overall, my phone is in my butt pocket or in my hand, and it also does fit in my bag currently with all the stuff that I have in here too. This is just a very easy access sort of situation. So once you open the bag, I have it sort of stuffed to the top like this. You could see I have my earbuds just sitting on the very very top there I am going to go run some errands right now I have to go to the post office I want to go to the grocery store I have to go to Target I like to listen to music sometimes you know when I'm just you know out and about and I have my headphones in and my phone on Pandora or you know whatever on top here I also have my disgustingly dirty key Australia soft pouch case for my Ray-Bans this is the only soft pouch that I have so that's why I've been using it for these and these are really delicate so I would never just put these in my bag just on top these are those newer aviator ones that I have that I'm obsessed with you guys always ask me the code name there is no code name I think it's just called aviator unfortunately it's a very very boring name but I have them in just the original like green black color with the gold and I know they come in a really cool metallic -y orange and I have them in the biggest frame that you can get them in so I'm obsessed with these glasses because I feel like they are the perfect combination of the classic round Ray-Bans and the aviators so you get you know two in one with these I love them so much next in here I'm just going to grab I've been now using my keys back into my clay for the obvious reasons I really really do not want to you know damage the inside of this bag I lately have been loving my keys just free balling out in the open and not having any sort of pouch because they're just so easy to grab stick in the door or whatever have it work but I really don't want to damage the bag so because this is now being used as my actual key pouch I have been using this really really cute envelope in this back pocket I have it so you see how this has the back pocket it has a zipper pocket I have this really cute envelope sort of style wallet that I got from Nordstrom Rack a while back and it's really really cute it has like leopard and inside I have a bunch of cards and some cash and some notes and receipts this has been my preference as far as card holders 
you know, go. Because when you open it, number one, it has a top, so you can put coins and cash in it with no problem, nothing will fall out. And also too, because it's open like this and you could sort of see everything right away, you could, you know, flip through your cards comfortably. So this is my question. Does anybody know of a luxury brand besides Alexander McQueen? I know McQueen has one where it has a little skull on there. I think it's cute, but I haven't, I'm not really obsessed with it. But does anybody else know of a brand that has something very similar like this where it's very narrow and it's like an envelope? like this very small I have been searching high and low I've seen some sort of vintage sort of Louis ones but either they're bigger or I don't really know does anybody know or cute ones they don't have to be, I guess they don't have to be a luxury brand but like cute good quality reason being is that the hair on this one I'm actually gonna research if this company has any more but the pony hair the faux pony hair on this one is sort of coming off and it sort of leaves shreds in my bags whatever whichever one I'm using but I really do like this style of card holder it's very very easy to just open it and flip through everything and not worry about coins and stuff like that falling out I love the YSL card holder at the moment I'm like stopping myself from getting it but I really do love that one but I feel like it's just so annoying to keep coins and cash in the center because it just falls out not that I have cash on me so much but it's just you know when you're spending a certain amount on a card holder you want it to do everything you know so let me know if you guys know of any other ones that are very similar to that anyways okay enough about the card holder in that same pocket I have sitting up here the best perfume ever oh my gosh so I got this as the sample in my Dior little lip kit purchase from Nordstrom it came with gift like a you know it'll say gift with purchase it came with a couple Clinique little cheap bag samples and then this fragrance this is Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream do yourself a favor and just go to any perfume counter and ask to smell Daisy Dream oh my god it smells so good it reminds me of like Chanel Chance but a different there's like a little bit of different notes in there so if you like Chanel Chance you'll you'll love this it's so refreshing it's so pretty I'm 100% buying the bottle and I, yeah, I just love it so much. And then in this back zipper here, I just, that's just where I have been keeping my gum, but I could put my card holder in there too, if you know, need be. I love winter fresh quickly. Does anybody else get stomach aches when you chew sugar free gum? I noticed that my stomach kills me when, I, especially in an empty stomach and I pop in like a piece of sugar free gum, pretty much every single gum is sugar free. This is the only mint gum that I like that is not sugar free. And I don't know why people I don't know why it's sugar it's only two grams of sugar it's like not that big of a deal and each stick is how many calories one stick 10 calories like who cares so before I wouldn't really like care if something sugar free or not but I noticed I would get really bad stomach aches so I don't know does that happen to anyone else but this is a really really good mint gum does anyone know of other really good mint gums that are not sugar free so it has to have sugar in it for it to actually not hurt my stomach so that is where I keep my gum Moving on to the main compartment on the bottom, I have an excessive amount of lip products for no freaking reason, and it is these three. One is my Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Chapstick, and the other one is this Dior Baby Lips. I just put this in here because I was sharing with you guys my Nordstrom haul, and this is one of the lip colors that came with the Dior lip kit in the pink, and I just love the packaging. It's just so beautiful so beautiful and it's just such a pretty color and I also have my Revlon lustrous lip gloss in the color rosy future that you guys know I really really love this lip gloss so that is it that I have in the bag overall you guys could pretty much right away tell if you are a square mini fan that it looks different aesthetically and that is why I gravitated towards the vintage ones in the first place it is more of like a boxy perfect square cube it looks like a piece of candy I'm obsessed this one in particular the color code is called coral orange red so it's a very bright fire engine red and it has more of like not a fire engine it's like Ferrari red that's what I called it it has more of a boldness undertone versus a deeper undertone which I absolutely adore in a small bag I feel like another reason why I like square minis in general even the newer ones over the rectangular ones because the rectangular ones are so similar to the classic flaps that I feel like it's missing a couple elements and obviously I know they're a separate category and all of that but I feel like the square ones are just 
different it's a different type of flat bag because of the shape being a different and the rectangular one that I had purchased sort of made me realize that I wanted a small flap a classic small flap in my collection because that bag has the four grommets it has you know the chain that you could change it from you know doubling up or long and that was one of the main things that bugged me about that bag and another huge reason why I ended up going for the Gucci Marmot mini because that mini actually has the four grommets and I feel like the longer shapes like the classic flaps look more balanced with the two chains is that so weird so that was another huge reason why i love these square ones because they have more of a boxy fit it fits you know the whole look of just the two chains the vintage bags have a more narrow width on the side so it lays a little bit better on the body and also too i love the detailing of the cc stitching on the flap right when you open it. it makes me sad that the new ones new ones don't come with that i think that's a very beautiful chanel element and it's very luxurious every time you open your bag and another big difference with the vintage and the new ones is the way that the chain is actually attached to the bag this one has you know the gold eyelet with this really cute fish hook that has chanel engraved in it with you know it just coming through like that versus the new ones have the piece of leather tab here and the strap going through that so those are the little differences main reason why i love vintage the vintage one is because of the whole aesthetic appearance then on top of that how narrow it is on the body and oh yeah the chain length this is 21 inches the strap drop so it's perfect crossbody it's perfect on the shoulder which i actually wear it like this the most because it's the most comfortable when you pack this even though it's little it does get really heavy and the chain starts to dig in the shoulder so crossbody wise my gucci marmot is way more comfortable because it has that extra piece of leather in between the strap here so i did talk about how i also have another vintage handbag on the way to me or that i was going to purchase and it is actually now on the way to me and i'm super excited excited about it so I sort of hinted in this video what it's going to be and I'm I cannot believe I found one it's a little bit of a unicorn bag so I'm very very excited I don't even know if it's considered vintage it's from like 2001 or 2002 is that considered vintage I don't know but it's it's so cute I'm I'm so excited so excited anyways that is what is in my vintage chanel square mini and i'm just so obsessed with this bag i cannot believe how much this color goes with everything and it made me so you know happy to not be scared to purchase a colored bag that i might be afraid it won't go with anything i do think though red is a little more on the safe side when it comes to colors just because it is you know kind of a neutral it's a primary color it sort of just goes with everything just like you know the cobalt blue from chanel i think is absolutely gorgeous and looks good with everything too so i just really love this and i have been enjoying it so much oh really quickly i did wear dark denim and i do have a little bit of denim transfer already so i don't know if you can see that how it's a little bit dark here on the rim I do have to buy a really good leather cleaner but I kind of just felt like when I saw that and it happened right away I was just like all right it's official you know it got its first little love ruse on it and yeah it's so cute I love it so much so now I'm gonna go run errands with all this crap that I now need to put back into my bag all right you guys so that was it thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will see you guys next time bye Mwah.